five five two and a half two and a half starting off with uh, mr. Brock go ahead sir thank you chair and uh, thank you to the witnesses for your attendance today I want to start by by, by looking at um, first principles and this study essentially arose after a report by the CBC late in the fall that the government of Canada and various departments, too, that are before the committee today, had used software and hardware to spy not only on the federal public service, but on Canadians. So we found out about this particular incident probably years after the fact. And the information was, was obtained through an ATIP by a professor at York University, an expert in privacy, who had some concerns about the ability of government officials to spy on employees and Canadians. He received information regarding the contracts. There were two contracts to both of your departments that he was reviewing. Radio Canada received these, these contracts, and Radio Canada reached out to both departments for an explanation as to your use of this spyware. So I want to lay the ground rules out because I think it's important for the first question I posed, I will pose, and this will be to national resources. Um, there appears to be a little bit of a disconnect, and I want you to, to help, help explain this particular issue. So Radio Canada reaches out to your department, I don't know who in particular, your department confirms that you have, you have the software, you have the hardware, but you have not provided the PIAs in relation to that. So that's one issue. Then I see in a uh, report by the CBC following the um, appearance of the Privacy Commissioner, this was a uh, report dated February the 2nd, that National Resources Canada told the Commissioner after his appearance, I would imagine, that it bought the data extraction tools but never used them. So why then would you tell Radio Canada you had this but you've never used PIAs and then conversely telling the commissioner, I have the tools, we've never used them. So do you see a bit of a disconnect there? Thanks for the question. Um, I will, um, hopefully I understand the question. So from our perspective, um, maybe I'll, I'll state the, f the facts as I know them and hopefully that will address the, 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 um, your, uh, your, uh, for your understanding. So um, we have purchased the tool and we have it. And from my understanding, we've, uh, we've had it since 2018. Um, and uh, the tool has been available to us, but has never been used. Um, so right now we we um, we we don't have anyone in the department that that can use it. And if we were to feel that based on um, a, a security situation, and we would need to use a tool like this um, uh, based on on clear mandate, then from there we would um, automatically turn around, uh, go to uh, and fill in a, a PIA to ensure that we're doing things the right way. So from our perspective, we've we've never used it, um, and if we were to use it, uh, given the need f from a security perspective, we would automatically do a PIA. So okay. uh, clearly, your department over the years has had probably instances of employee misconduct. Fair to say, over the years, um, I would say I don't. I I, I cannot speak for for what it uh, for 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 the can, time. Can either you passed. speak to that issue? I think it's fair to say yes. Yes, and in the course of those investigations, did you ever use software and hardware similar to the one that we're talking about today? It's possible, but it's not necessary. Uh, you don't need necessarily to have to have the tools. The tools help enhance our ability but it could be done manually, okay. right? So, and when you used other tools, did you file a PIA? Not to my knowledge, but within the constraint, the, within the, the, the framework on, on privacy impact assessment, departments have the ability to work within what is called personal information banks. Those are predetermined 
type of information that we would want to access as a department to our employees. Uh, it is my understanding that when we work within that set of information, we are within our mandate. And you understand there's a directive by the Treasury Board Correct. that PIAs need to be adopted across the board? Across the board, on, on the programs. Yes. Correct. You are aware it, of that. And NRCANA has that. Thank you. And I'm out of time. Thank, Thank you, Chair. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Brock.